and welcome back to Bookish Theories. In today's video, we'd like to talk about these Love Me Again and Rainy Days, focusing on a little breakdown of the lyrics and the music videos to see what they can tell us about the concept of this solo debut. Now, produced by others, Mini Jean, Love Me Again and Rainy Days are two pre releases that are meant to introduce this unique artistry in anticipation of his solo debut layover, even if we'll have to wait for its actual release to hear what we has to say about it. So far, we know that this is an album that he made following his taste. As his solo debut, it highlights a new side of him that is different from the one that we saw with BTS, but at the same time, Layover is a project that we created with the goal of making ARMY happy. Moving forward, this focus on ARMY might very well be revealed as a source of inspiration for the story told in Layover, but for now, one thing that we know for sure is that all tracks are connected to one another. According to the press release, in fact, the Layover is best enjoyed when listening to all the songs in order. So far we have track number 1 Rainy Days and track number 3 Love Me Again, so today I actually want to analyze these two songs the following disorder, even if Love Me Again was released first. Now, as the opening song of the album, Rainy Days introduces us to the overall concept, as well as the central themes that we'll see in Layover. This is a song that expresses the nostalgic longing of a person who thinks about a lost love during rainy days full of loneliness. While both the song and the video have a comforting feeling about them, the MV also clarifies that in this context, coziness goes hand in hand with a strong feeling of being stuck. At the beginning, for instance, the video opens by explaining that when we listen really carefully, loops go wheeling, cozy and stuck. This these words very much set the tone of the video here. The lyrics tell us the story of somebody who cannot move on from a love they used to have. They are stuck, lost in an endless loop where they relive the memories of the past, but this loop that traps them is also cozy because it gives them comfort. Now, even if the lyrics focus on a fictional story with romantic connotations here, the love that V is singing about and is stuck remembering might also be interpreted in different ways. Symbolically speaking, for instance, the song might also be seen as a dedication to Ami, with him longing to reunite and feeling nostalgic for a past together that brings him joy. If you think about it, this sense of nostalgia is also highlighted by the concept itself. Story-wise, the idea of him being stuck in a loop is very reminiscent of the most beautiful moments in life. It may not be directly connected to it because it's a solo after all, but I do think that the note might be intentional. The loop concept has been a dominant aspect of BTS's imagery, but in this instance I actually think that V might have reworked it in order to fit his personal style. You see, in the video, the theme of repetition is very prevalent, not only when it comes to the story, but also musically and visually. To really convey the idea that he's stuck remembering this other person, the lyrics keep repeating and the instrumental keeps on looping. As he's trapped in this musical loop, the video portrays a dreamlike reality where the setting itself almost gives the impression he's inside of an old radio, almost as if he's physically inside of the music he's creating. Like the song, in fact, the visuals repeat, and even if he absent-mindedly performs normal actions in order to fill his days, the close so you look, the stranger it actually gets. For one, even if the song is called Rainy Days, when we look outside it doesn't actually rain. You can hear it in the track, but you cannot see it, thus implying that these rainy days might be a metaphor for the days of sadness that follow this loved one leaving. As the birds and young tan's body double show us, this is this reality, his very own experience dealing with these feelings. While his mind is far away, he prepares his food, but he actually doesn't. He pours sugar on an empty plate, tries to make sense of papers filled with symbols, but these are all mindless actions that he performs while replaying memories of the past that makes him happy and sad at the same time. In his rainy days, he might exist in the present, but he's truly living in the past, so this is a loop that he's not even trying to escape. In the second half of the video, however, we see the appearance of Vante, this artistic alter ego, and in these scenes, his inability to move on is also paired with a symbolic attempt at actually doing so. When we meet Vante, we see that he's actually sculpting a series of heads representing himself. When put together, these heads create a 3D zoetrope, which is a device that gives the illusion of movement, even if its components remain in place. If we see each head as a loop, it does the same thing in all of them, but when seen together, they give the illusion that he's moving on, even if he's actually stuck in place. The same illusion is also given by this pole right here. The photos change, and this gives an impression of movement, but at the same time, the photos are still, and so is he in the memory of his past. In the back, we can even see a piece recalling the style of Alexander Calder, who is a pioneer in kinetic sculpture. Taehyung is actually a big fan of this artist, and wouldn't you know it, the point of these sculptures is that they are still objects who at the same time are still able to move freely. Like the loop leads him to feel both cozy and stuck, the art presented in the video is both still and moving. There's a contrast going on, and if you think about it, this duality also applies to the song itself. It loops, it repeats, 
pizza, but like the zoetrope, once everything is put together, it creates an illusion of progression that results in a complete song. Seen from this perspective, the video might also become a metaphor for his artistic process, which is a back and forth of seemingly repeating actions that eventually have a successful outcome. Like we see with the documents and the bread brush, parts of this process sometimes might only make sense to him, but the result is a work of art that is true because it includes V himself. When Vante draws with the bread, for instance, the scene heavily recalls the Truman Show, which is a movie where Truman is the unknown protagonist of a reality show. In Rainy Days, V is the artist and creator, but like Truman, he's also the main character, and an authentic one at that. He's not only inside of the art he's making, he is the art, so in the video he's actually portrayed accordingly. In essence, however, Rainy Days still remains a love song, and in Love Me Again we actually get more information about the events told in this story. Now, in comparison to Rainy Days, Love Me Again has a video that is far more focused on the atmosphere and the performance. Even so, the lyrics continue the narrative introduced in Rainy Days. In that song, he was stuck thinking of a way to regain the love he lost. He was waiting by the phone, thinking of the kisses and the laughs, regretting the hurtful words that led to the breakup, but in Love Me Again, we discovered that the other person left him and he still cannot let it go. As he wishes to be loved again, the lyrics focus on the honesty of his feelings. As we already saw in Rainy Days, he thinks about this person all the time, he apologizes for the pain he caused, and once again, these feelings are conveyed with a repetition that recalls the loop of the first song. Even if we still don't know how this story will continue, by track 3 the situation is still the same. He's still stuck, still longing for what he lost, and him begging to be loved again still implies that he's looking back at the past instead of moving on in the future. The setting and concept of the video reinforce this idea as well. The analog video and vintage aesthetic, for instance, foreshadow an appreciation for the past and a nostalgia for a time that is now gone. The cave, on the other hand, is a dark location. It's hidden and secluded, which might actually symbolize an inner journey and refer to him facing his feelings with honesty, like stated in the lyrics. Either way, the point is that Lomi again very much continues the musical narrative that we started in Rainy Days, but to see how this will continue, for now we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, however, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please think about liking and subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.